A Catonsville woman is facing some major federal charges. According to the FBI, she and a neo Nazi from Florida were planning to attack electric substations that could have knocked out power for you and thousands of others across our area. Avador Burnett is digging deeper into this investigation for us. We are here this morning to announce the arrests of Sarah Clandaniel and Brandon Russell on criminal complaints for conspiring to attack our local power grid. Sarah Clandaniel is in federal custody right now. Officials say she was conspiring with a Florida man to take down five Maryland power stations. In a federal criminal complaint, officials say Clandaniel, the woman believed to be in this photo, and Brandon Russell coordinated on encrypted apps to cripple power stations in Norrisville, Reisterstown, Perry Hall, and Baltimore City by shooting them up. These plans were stopped thanks to the swift action and collaboration of our federal, state, and local enforcement partners. According to court documents, Clint Daniel, who may have had a terminal illness, said she wanted to accomplish something worthwhile before dying. And if we can pull off what I'm hoping, this would be legendary, and it would completely destroy this whole city. The FBI believes this was a, was a real threat. Um, our hope is that uh, it would have been minimal, but, but we couldn't be able to tell you what that result would look like. Officials believe Russell started a neo-Nazi group to target minorities, Jews, the LGBT community, journalists, and even the government. The criminal complaint said planning went on for months until as recently as last week, when Clint Daniel was arrested in Maryland and Russell in Florida. At this point, officials do not believe they're connected to attacks against power stations in North Carolina. To those extremists looking to disrupt society and cause chaos in our communities, we will not allow nor will we tolerate this. Federal officials are saying a confidential informant helped them with this case. And if Clan Daniel and Russell are convicted, they could spend up to 20 years in federal prison. Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.